Hi and welcome back. So in this video I want to create a top bar. So this is uh, this is that form that appears at the top before anything is loaded. It will be somewhere here at the very top of your web page. So let me just start by choosing this. And then the next step we can choose a theme. So you can see some of these are premium themes if you're if you subscribed to, if you upgraded, you'll get access to one of these themes. But for me, I don't really care much. I'll just do this. I'll choose this one. And so I'll call it top Ricky. And then select or we'll create a list. I don't have a list here. So I'll create a new list. Let me call it P and then create the list and then create form. So this is the original design of how the form will be. But I want to make it as close to the web design here as possible. So I will come here and I want to choose some color here. And if I come here, okay, I'll be able to change the appearance later. But right now, I can change this title. So let me say, learn HTML, CSS, for free. You can see that changes there. And then, thank you message. Thanks for that. Now this is, this will be the thank you message. Here, on the thank you message, what I can do, I can add a link for people to join one of my courses, which is HTML and CSS. So I'll add that link right here. So what I mean is, on the thank you, once they subscribe, I want them to have access to this link. So what I can do is I can link to this links. Let me start with the HTML, control C, and then I'll come here and uh, let me add join there, HTML and CSS course. So I will link to HTML, insert link, control V, open in a new tab, and then insert. Then let me come back and take the one for CSS, and then link, insert link, control V, there and there. And then after that, save and continue. Now, background color. Let me come here. I want to change the color for that. So I'll take something like black. And background. I'll just type in the color here. So you can choose any color that you want in here. You choose a color just by selecting and you see the color changes. And then background is black and text is white. That's good for clarity. That's good. And then Malmanch logo. You cannot remove the logo. If you are using the free option, the logo is there. Custom CSS, you cannot customize the CSS also on the free option for mail munch. So this is this is good enough for clarity. So I will save and continue. So here you can see you can add another field if you want to get somebody's name. 
you can just come here and add a field so if you want to add something like first name you just click there and add or you just want to add name you can click there and add and you, you see it's added but i don't want this field i just want the email so i'll just delete this one but you, you see that you can add if you want to add anything else you can just add it here so here i just want to say okay let me go back here i want to see if i can change the color of this button yeah i want to change the color of this button it's not clear enough so background let me make the background of that button white and then the text i make the text pure black okay let me make it red this red looks good yes or rather let me change the background to red yes and then this one i make it white good that's better now if i come back to fills you can change the field if you want you can change the button the button call to action you can change it here now that's it for this page so save and continue now under behavior this is how the form will behave so you can choose if you want it at the top so for instance you want it at the top or you may want it at the bottom so you'll choose that here of course it makes more sense to be at the top if you really want it to get more attention you'll put it at the top remain at the top yes remain at the top when scrolling that means if i scroll down the page you'll see this once i add it to my site it means it will just be there fixed then closing the bar allow closing yes yes that's this so you can put this or you can disable it if you disable it people will not be able to close it so this is after how many days do you want to show it again after they hide it so you can add the number of days there if someone comes back to your site you don't want to show them the form again you can put that at one or you can even make it zero and then after user subscribes select or create a list to add to subscriber after they subscribe they'll be added to this list that i just created and then you can also have a redirection i don't want it to redirect anywhere i just want them to as soon as they subscribe they'll be taken to the thank you for this form where they'll be able to click on html and css as i created in in the message otherwise if you want them to go to another page you'll just put the link here maybe you have a thank you page you can put that in there maybe that's an access to something you can add that link in there and then you can get notifications for the free option you get notifications once every week if someone subscribes you'll be told they subscribed every week then display rules which device do you want the form to be shown on on desktop devices yes on mobile yes on tablet yes which pages do you want the form to show on so you can add a rule here if you don't want it to show on some pages you can say don't show on and then urls containing or url starting with if you know regular expressions you can use regular expressions here uh urls ending with urls starting with urls containing so maybe you can just add here slash cut you don't want to show it on the cut then you say done then uh, you can add another one and say don't show on urls containing then pages uh what is it called shop if you have something like shop you want this to be shown there you can add that we are done with this bit now let's save and continue
Now this is my favorite part. You can connect your list with any of these guys. So if you have a MailChimp account, you'll just click on MailChimp and then you connect. If you have a GetResponse account, you click and connect. Let me just click on MailChimp just to see what comes next. So once you log into your account, okay, let me just log in to my account. I've logged into my MailChimp account and I can connect to any of my lists. You see, just by logging in, you'll be able to connect to any of your lists. So these are lists that are on my MailChimp. I can choose any one of them and connect. For example, this list has two fields. This is a required field and this is a required field. So this means that this something has to something has to happen here. So I can also just choose for it to be the email. So the email address and your name will be filled by the email. You remember my form doesn't have another field, only has the email field and yet my MailChimp list has a name field which is a required field. So I have to put something in there or there will be errors. So that's it for MailChimp. But I don't want to connect this with my MailChimp account. So I don't know, how do I remove this? Okay, so let me click here and see. Oh yeah, so if you want to remove this, I can just delete and uh, this will be gone or I can add another integration. I want to add get response. And with get response, I will need my API key. So to get your get response API key, you, you can go to your get response account. So I'm also here on the free trial. And uh, if I come to integrations, you can see I have this option for API. So here's my API key. I just copy and then come back here. Where will we? There. If I input the API key, no, I didn't copy it right. Copy. Oh, select it first and then copy. Then I'll come where you there. Paste it in there. Save and continue. And now I can choose one list. From here, any of this. If I choose that. So, name, these ones don't have anything else and I don't really need to input anything in any of these other fields. So I just need the email address to be connected to the email address of MailMunch so that when someone signs up, it will be sent to my get response list, this list here. After doing all this, Let's just publish our form. Here you can see the form is active. Activate the form. So once I click on finish, you see I can get this code and I will put it anywhere on my website where I want this form to show up. So I want to take this and put it on my footer for my WordPress website so that it will show up on every single page. So if you're using WordPress, you can just put it on the footer and it will show up on every single page. There's also a plugin, but I don't want to use the plugin because it involves a lot of connections here and there with MailMunch and I don't want to go through that process right now. So I'll just come back here and I'm here on my footer, WordPress footer code and uh, you can put it anywhere uh, on the footer before the body. You can put it here. I want to put it before Google Analytics code. So I'll put it 
there. And when I come down and update, and then come back to my website, and then reload, you'll see that my main launch form is up here. So let me do a trial. Let me do a test. And I can just say art business.com and then OK. So thanks. OK, so you can see this is not clear enough, but the point is this is what will happen. And if I come back here and uh, where is it? If I come back here, you can see my list is here. I don't have any subscribers, but if I reload, you'll see that now I have a new subscriber and I can see who this is by clicking. You see your subscriber. And if I go to my get response, let me go back to the dashboard. And I want to choose the other list, which is this one. And then I will go to the settings for that list. Now, actually, the first thing I can do, let me say I go to contact and I say add add contacts. So after all that wastage of time to see my list, I'll just go here and then click on campaigns list. This one. I will say show contacts. So on get response, it has not been added. And I think the reason is they tried to ping that email and uh, it could not go through because it is a non-existent email. But if I come to MailChimp and uh, I look at my list, the one I chose for it, I can see it has been added here. This has been a somewhat long video and I wanted to show you everything in one video from step to step, how you can create the form and add it to your website. So it's just as easy as copying the code and then you take that code and you put it on your website. So if you want to edit this form, you just come, you just come back to forms and click on edit and then edit. So you can edit whatever you want. Let me see if I can change the color for this. So I can click there and then choose that. Let's make it white. Okay. Let's make it some light kind of blue there and that one make it that light kind of blue So you can just edit the form once again there. So that's it for this video. I hope you've seen how you can create and add the form on your website. So you can take that code and put it anywhere on any website. It will work. Whether your website is working on WordPress or any other site, it will just work. See you next time.